Welcome to our Spring Boot tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with exception handling and filters. Our viewer asks, I have a Spring Boot application with a controller advice for handling exceptions. I've created a filter to validate headers for all requests, but when I throw a custom exception from that filter, it bypasses my exception handler and uses the default spring error control. Is there a way to manage errors from filters in my own way? Let's dive into this intriguing challenge and explore how to customize error handling in your Spring Boot application. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Let's get to handle exceptions thrown from filters in a Spring Boot application, we need to understand how filters and exception handling work together. First, let's create a custom exception that we can throw from our filter. This will allow us to define specific error conditions. Next, in your filter, you can throw this custom exception when the header validation fails. This will allow us to catch it later. Now to ensure that our custom exception is handled by the global exception handler, we need to make sure our filter is ordered correctly. Finally, ensure your at controller advice is set up to catch the custom exception and return a meaningful response. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Spring Boot, if you catch an exception in a filter, you can handle it using Handler Exception Resolver. This will activate the at controller advice functionality. Here's a code example of a custom filter that initializes a Hystrix request context and checks for an API key in the request header. If the API key is missing, an authentication exception is thrown, which is then resolved by the handler exception resolver. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle exceptions in Spring Boot filters, you can create a controller that extends Basic Error Controller. This controller will manage error responses. In the Service Exception Handler method, you retrieve error attributes and log them. You can then generate a custom error response. Additionally, you can create a filter like IP filter to restrict access based on IP addresses. If an unauthorized IP is detected, throw a service exception. Finally, the result will show the exception message, but not the error code. And that's it, guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.